The Outer Hebrides, in the far northwest of Scotland, right on the edge of the Atlantic, are a beautiful string of islands, famed for their white beaches, their ancient standing stones, and rugged landscapes. The Outer Hebrides' history is a rich and varied one, dating back to 8,500-year-old settlements, through to the struggle between the Scots and the Vikings, and onto the fisheries and the craft, the food trails and the distilleries, and the tourism of modern island life. My challenge is to cycle the Hebridean Way within 24 hours, over 186 miles and through 10 islands. This will include six causeways and two boat crossings, all the way from Vattersea in the south to Port of Ness in Lewis in the north. To make it a little tougher, I'm exploring this magnificent route at the end of winter. So even though I, I felt I was I was racing up the islands against the clock, you know I've got a wonderful sense of um, you know the changing landscapes and the people and the wildlife and and the culture, and through that you can see the incredible history in the islands as well. And I don't think by any other mode of transport you would get that that richness, that that fast changing you know tapestry of landscapes and places as you travel through the Outer Hebrides. It's amazed me to spend all these years cycling around the world and top to bottom, and then to come home and discover a route like the Hebridean Way on my doorstep. What a perfect part of the world to explore at the speed of a bike.